Hi class, my name is Zephyrin Davis and today we will be learning body orientation in directional terms. The first two terms are superior and inferior. Superior means towards the head and inferior means towards the feet. For example, superior of superior is the head is superior to the shoulders and an example of inferior is the knee is inferior to the neck. So let's say if we start at the head and we want to know where is the heart? Is the heart inferior or superior to the head? The heart is inferior to the head. The second two terms are anterior and posterior. Anterior means towards the front of the body and posterior means towards the back of the body. For an example of anterior is the rib cage is anterior to the heart. An example of posterior is the lungs are posterior to the chest. So for an example of posterior, the spine, the spleen is Okay, the spleen would be anterior or posterior to the rib cage. The rib cage is posterior. Oh, the spleen is posterior to the rib cage. Next, we have medial and lateral. Medial means towards the middle or the midline of the body. Lateral means away from the midline of the body. For an example is the heart is medial to the arms. And an example for lateral is the shoulder is lateral to the heart. So to give you an example, The heart and then we're going to have the shoulder. <coughs> Is the heart medial or lateral to the shoulder? Okay. The answer is the heart would be medial to the shoulder. So is the arm lateral or medial to the heart? The arm is lateral to the heart. All right, good day class, it's Mr. Uchimi. Right, um, I'm gonna explain proximal and distal cause this is the one that was throwing a lot of people off in class. Alright, so proximal, all it means is close to the origin of the body part. So whatever that body part is attached to, to make it to the trunk of the body. Trunk being center mass, shoulder, thigh, example. And then distal, far away from the origin of the body part or body attachment. So you can only use proximal and distal on the same, how would you say, limb. You can't say... Is the wrist distal or proximal to the thigh because they're not attached to the same part of the body. You can only use arm on arm, leg on leg, and so forth. Alright, so let's look at this. For example, let's look at proximal. The elbow is proximal to the wrist, meaning that the elbow is closer to the shoulder attachment than the wrist. That's all it means. So the elbow, if you look at the elbow, go ahead, hold your arm out, look at your elbow. Is it closer to your shoulder 
or is it further away from the shoulder than the wrist? The answer would be closer unless you have a messed up arm. I don't know. You know, some people are weird. But most people, the elbow will be closer to the shoulder than the wrist. So that means it's proximal. Now let's look at it backwards. The wrist is distal to the elbow, meaning that it's further away from the body attachment. So the the part the origin of the body that's attached to it. So it'll be the shoulder blade or the shoulder muscle or acromal area of the body. So the wrist is distal to the elbow, meaning it's further away from the body attachment, the shoulder, in comparison. So if you hold your arm out again, look at your wrist and look at your elbow. Which one is closer, I mean, which one is further away from your body? It'll be the wrist. That means it's distal. Let me do another uh, actual visual example. All right, so if we take a look. Let me see. Yeah, let's say we take a look at. I know it's going to be hard to do this one. Let's do Let's do this bicep muscle. This guy's kind of swole right here. Look at that. See all that juice coming out of his arm? And let's do the elbow. They have to be in order to do proximal and distal, they have to be on the same attachment. This is the attachment point to the body. So whatever it connects to the body, the main mass, you cut off all four limbs, the main mass will still be here. This is the main mass. <laughs> So whatever it attaches to. So which one? So this is where it attaches to. Which one? The arm right here, or the bicep muscle, or this elbow? Is it? Which one is closer to the body? That's right, the bicep. So this one to be proximal. I'm probably spelling this wrong. Yeah, I am. Oh well, proximal. The elbow would be distal because it's further away from this attachment further away it takes longer to get here than it does to get here now let's do the leg well here would be the attachment to the main body right here so I'll draw X to the thigh lower thigh upper thigh which one is proximal which one is distal the upper thigh would be proximal because it's closer to the body Wow the lower thigh would be distal because it's further away. And I'm going to hand the mic back to my good, dear colleague, Zephyrin Davis. Okay, superficial and deep. Superficial means towards or at the surface layer. It's external in the body. So it's external, it's outside. Deep means away from the body surface, internal. For example, superficial, the skin is superficial to the heart. An example for deep is the heart is deep to the skin. To help you out a little bit, I'm just going to show you that here's the skin I'm going to like outline it and the skin is superficial to the lungs here that's where we're going to be at the lungs so the skin are superficial to the lungs and the lung would be deep to the skin it'll be deep from the outer skin So the lung will be deep from the outer skin. <laughs> Ventral and dorsal. Ventral is almost the same meaning as is the same meaning as interior, which means towards the front of the body. Dorso is the same meaning as posterior, means towards the back of the body. For example, for ventral, the rib cage is ventral to the heart. And an example for dorsal is the lungs are 
dorsal to the chest. This is all the body orientations. Have a nice day.